Food is getting cold. I understand that, you know, some of the courses were a bit delayed and it was a little bit frustrating for me, but, you know, I was completely composed in the dining room and no one even saw a trickle of sweat on my forehead. One member of the most successful team will win this challenge. The losing team will join us at the judges' table and one of you will be going home. Your Highlander hybrid is waiting for you out front. Jump on in, do your brainstorming on the way to the restaurant. I'll see you over there. Before any of this starts, I think it's really important for all three of us just to like recognize and know now none of this is personal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Likewise. Our challenge is to take a raw restaurant space and turn it into something that works and functions for the general public. I mean, if I have something to say, I'm going to say it. Dave and I have worked together before. Dave's not really capable of talking about a project and talking about technical aspects of a project without it becoming very, very personal. Is that a new American? Yes. People love beef. Yeah. Roasted chicken, fall veg. Ideas. Uh, I was thinking of uh, the final course, doing a wine and melon pairing. And doing whoa, like whoa, 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 whoa. Stop, 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 stop. Restaurant concept. Concept okay. first. Um, three. Uh, let's see, the most innovative cutting edge right now is Spain. Spain, I was thinking Spain too. Yeah. How about a papaya? Do like a tropical Spanish? No. No, no papayas, if you, yeah, if you think about like mainland Spain. Spain. Do corn, uh, like, the, what do you call those things? Arepas? Corn those aren't cakes? Well, that's, that's more Latin. Yeah, that's more Stephen and Leanne wanted to run the show. Yeah. That's all, right. all the fish? That's all the fish. Wait, it was how much? It was $7.99 a pound. $7.99 a pound. $17.99. $17 Sorry. Dude, that's a huge there. mistake. I would not have ordered that extra pound, Chunk. Okay, well, I made an error. All right. Do well, you want me to take it back? Yeah, ask him if he can take back that pound of fish because it's it's 18 bucks a pound. Right. The reason why I asked for the extra pound was because yeah, it was so cheap. That's yeah, right. two bottles of wine, man. Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. I got put on the team with the big thinker and the no thinker, and uh, it was tough to balance the two. So. No, I wouldn't cut the onions, Dave. He said you want them peeled and quartered. Harold, peeled and quartered on the onions? What if we just roast them whole? Keep them nice, like one onion on a plate. Just a thought. Tiffany is a hard ass, and I, I don't play that way. I think everyone should have input, not just one person. I have ideas and opinions, too. I'm running with it. I'm keeping my mouth shut. But if we fail, she is going to go home. I am not going to go home. Serious? Chunk, you didn't ask him to scale the fish? He didn't scale it? I don't think it had nothing to do with me getting the fish. I am officially in the weeds right now, and I am moving at a pace beyond 100 miles per hour, basically doing about six things at once, and I thought I was about to explode. You're in the I am. Extremely. You got about 45 minutes. Yes, I know. Just for my dining room, I'd be worried right now. Yeah, I am worried. Okay. I'm very worried. All right, so we're still putting the finishing touches. Again, we're keeping it simple with oh. that new American, rustic, sure. but elegant. I was so happy to have the two restaurants with our two completely different concepts, and me in the front and Steven in the front, because it's like night and day. Steven, we're going to start running the food if you guys don't start running it for us. OK. You have no idea what's going on in the dining room, so I, I have you know no room for hearing this, these kind of things. Please take these. Okay. They're cold. Madness out there. This is a very simply roasted chicken with lemon, rosemary, and thyme. That's all infused into the chicken. We have the roasted root veggies, where you see the celery root, carrot, chipolini onions, some Brussels sprout. <laughs> The other team's concept is totally a style that I would never engage in. Uh, you know, it's very warming, welcoming, uh, very comfortable. And you know, we were kind of on the opposite spectrum. I knew that our food, um, the menu, was just you know outstanding, and I wanted the dining room simply to accent the art that was to come out of the kitchen. Food is getting cold. I understand that you know some of the courses were a bit delayed and it was a little bit frustrating for me but you know I was completely composed in the dining room and no one even saw a trickle of sweat on my forehead who scaled the fish uh, I believe uh, yeah, why not I'm sorry that's 
<laughs> As the second course came out, unfortunately, uh, Chef Calicchio found a couple scales of fish um, on his skin. Uh, are you serious? What's up? Calicchio found scales on his fish. Kidding. There's something about it. It just <laughs> really <laughs> looks. And I love the way, you know, the puree. Uh, great. Right. Right. Enjoy. Jeffrey is a big player, and, you know, he's someone I definitely wanted to make a good impression with. The other room, they took more risk. This is like comfort food done really well. It's yeah. really, it's a, different, it's a different thing. Jeffrey, you're the expert. How do you think they did? Well, I thought it was really interesting because it was a juxtaposition of concepts. And, you know, it's not just simply enough to establish the concept. You have to execute. I have to say I agree wholeheartedly with Jeffrey that it's, it's really about executing. One thing I didn't care for in the American concept, they started out the service with a, a family style bean dip, the white bean dip, and then they started off with the tuna presented family style, and then they stopped from there. Well, it does send a mixed message, for yeah, sure. Yeah. The Spanish restaurant. It seemed like some people were waiting 20, 30 minutes between each course, or longer. I mean, there was obviously something going on in the kitchen. It could be one of two things. The kitchen team's not working correctly, or they're not getting cues from the dining room. So congratulations, red team. Oh, thank God! Tonight. <laughs> Your customer satisfaction rating was a 26 out of 30. Oh, oh, oh! The people said that you had great food, they loved Dave, they thought your service was excellent, and they also liked the family style and your concept, so nice. congratulations. Now we have to decide who's going to can. I'd like to thank both of you. But in the end, you won because of service. And that was because Dave put up the room. So Dave, you're going to can. Blue team, you lost tonight. One of you will be going home. One of the biggest complaints was that the service was too spread out. Uh, tonight we provided an educational experience and I went into the food and the wine pairing and you know, the expressions on each of the faces of the guests tonight, you know, their eyes widened, their mouths dropped and nothing but compliments were said to us. Steven, your customer surveys didn't show that people thought the service was great and the food was great. They said they loved it, loved, quote unquote. I'm sorry, but I don't think these people were lying Steven, when the comments were showered. The showered, bottom line is, your customers weren't satisfied. You're getting caught up in this need to educate the public. You have adults that are eating in your restaurant, not children. They don't need to be force-fed education. I, I've, never, I've never been to Spain. My, my, my knowledge of Spain is... Well, you could have fought for something else that you can put your fingerprint on and say, I don't want to do Spanish food, I don't know it. I said that, and they chose to go their route. What does it say on your jacket? It says top chef. It doesn't say top sous chef, does it? No. That's not what we're here for, right? No, chef. I am proud to say that I busted my ass to put a great meal out there. So, you know what? Whatever's gonna be, is gonna be. Lance, sometimes you fire your sous chef. Is, that, is it time to fire your sous chef? I'll be honest with you. I have yet to be, like, wowed by one of your dishes. So, uh, I'll buy you a beer when we get back to New York. Sorry, dude. I mean, if that's how you feel, that's fine. Steven, what do you think? The weakest one is the next to go. And in this group of three people, I feel that Miguel has to go. So, blue team, you lost today. One of you will be going home. Miguel, you've taken a back roll now a few too many times. It's not called top sous chef. You got to step it up and be a chef here. Steven, same thing, this isn't top sommelier. If you come back, we need to see your chef's coat. Yes, chef. Leanne, you were clearly the leader tonight. Take responsibility. When the restaurant goes down, the chef usually goes down with the restaurant. It was a tough decision, and we, we all agreed in the end. Miguel, your time is up. Please pack your knives and go. I look forward to working with all of you at one point in my career or another. And I thank you very much for giving me this opportunity. Champion! I don't 
know where my career is going to go, you know? I feel like I've opened a lot of doors here. And I've always said that my success has not come from money. It's come from my desire and my passion to do what I do best. And that's cook and make people happy.